It's not, nothing's perfect. Nothing can be perfect. Guys, hello, fellow reefers. Fragbox TV today. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna talk about three things we don't like about Red Sea reefers. What don't we like? I know the. I know what I don't like. I do want to sell them, but if I don't like something, I can still say I don't like it. I love the tanks. Oh, like overall, it's the best reef ready aquarium kit on the market today, hands down. I don't think they have serious competition as of right now. I think they're the best in terms of convenience, and everything's done. It's it's so simple. But that being said, I don't like the height of the stands. I think they're too tall. Yeah, what if you're short like Tia? Four foot nothing. That's a tier problem. That's a tier problem. Then you go out and get a ladder. From I don't know. I think the the way the industry is going, things are getting kind of shallower. I don't like the height. And that's the only reason I didn't do the Red Sea Reef for Peninsula for our tank. No, the Peninsula is finished 65 or 66 inches. So then for me, I have to bend down to enjoy it. No, you can enjoy it from this height. So you know what 66 inches is? That's like, that's like where the lights are. That's like... That's really tall. Imagine the lights is the end of the tank. But in a house, it looks much nicer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but know. even here, we have we have nine and a half, ten foot ceilings. I think they're too tall, and that's really the only reason I didn't do a reefer, and we went with the custom tank. Yeah. So for me, it's the height. I think they're too tall. Tell us, okay? Tia's reason. So I guess everyone can have one reason. Tia doesn't like Actually, the plumbing. Oh, it's in that funny size. It's in the weird European size. We, yeah, weird European size. Doesn't it's? Uh, I think it's metric. So if you have, yeah, if you want to adjust it or you want to do any sort of custom plumbing change, anything, you can't do it. Yeah, maybe they do that because they don't want you to like fiddle around underneath here. Probably avoid the warranty. Yeah, but if you want to set up a little fuge or do anything, anything to do with this plumbing, it's very tricky. Unless I don't know, you're a plumber and you know how to. No, you even then you can't get the fittings here in North America, right? So. It's very tricky. Yeah, these are all funny sizes. So usually it comes half inch, three quarter inch, one inch. This is all in, I think it's in millimeters. So anything you want to do, you're not really going to be able to do it. Yeah, that's a very good point. The plumbing. Are you done on the phone? You're ruining the video. Are you done? Done. <laughs> Phone's done? Okay. Back to, that was our intermission. What were we just saying? Overflow. So good point Tia made about the overflow. It is quite large. And if you look at some other tanks, specifically Nios, I think they've done a better job. It's almost like a ghost style overflow. It's floating. Um, it's just less obtrusive. So it is It is kind of bulky. It is quite big. And it's the same size overflow on every single tank. So on the 170, on the 250, on the 750. So that means if you have this smaller reefer 170 here, that's only 35 gallons, you have the same size overflow as the six foot, 160 gallon aquarium. So I guess it's easier for them to have one set size of overflow and then they can just put it on every single tank. I understand that from a production standpoint. It's just, that's quite a large, quite a big overflow. So it does eat away at space, uh, usable space inside the tank. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna touch on that I really am not a fan when it comes to these reefers. You know what, I'm sorry Red Sea if you guys ever watch this. I love the brand, I love the company, and I love the aquariums. It's just these small things that drive me nuts. These um, openers on the door, um, absolute garbage. These things here, they're very annoying to use, and they break often, and they just literally suck. I don't understand why or how we sell a ton of these replacement parts for the doors. They just suck. Uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to say about them. They suck. They're not fun to use. They're not good. They're good for when you first install them, but we hate them here in the store. And the same goes, unfortunately, for the, the float valve that comes with the ATO. We sell quite a few of these. You really shouldn't have to buy a replacement one. Um, we sold a tank recently, brand new, to um, somebody here locally. It was a Red Sea Reefer 200. And right out of the box, his, his float valve was not good, and we've sold quite a few of these. So, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say about those. I don't think you really should have to deal with any float valve issues, but unfortunately, you do with these tanks. But other than that, you know, this video, I don't want to rip on them too much. Just a couple small things that annoy me about the tanks. Overall, 
amazing amazing aquariums and if you guys got any other questions about this red sea reefer right here red sea reefers in general corals long tentacle plate corals anything like that uh, my info will be at the end of the video my name is march and this is fragbox tv